Okay, let's go to the sad news, Chukudi, that um, broke the internet yesterday or that broke on the internet yesterday, if I beg your pardon. Now, this is not the first time we're seeing incidences like this when it comes to trailers and tankers and all these consignments falling over from the bridge and killing and injuring people. Now, the details of the story thus. Part of the consignment of a truck conveying wood fell on vehicles around the Odrelegba area of Lagos State. It was gathered that the tragic incident happened Tuesday night around Odrelegba Bridge in Lagos. Although the casualty figure is yet to be ascertained, it was gathered that at least three vehicles, including commercial buses, were affected in the accident. The bus was conveying plywood and part of the consignment fell off and landed on three buses and a car, said an eyewitness. Most unfortunate situation. And uh, first I would start by saying God rest the dead because, I mean, it's sad. You know, we know that life is, um, you know, all about risk or it's a gamble. But then you, you, the human part of you would look at a situation where somebody calls home to say, I'll be home in a few hours, in a few minutes, you know, I'm on my way. I dashed out to the market to get stuff. I went to see someone, I'm coming back home. And in the end, you hear such stories. I mean, we can avoid um, situations like this, but it's most unfortunate that we, you know, we begin to make excuses for our failures and we look at situations and say, oh, it is well, I am covered by the blood and the likes and we put ourselves in harm's way. And when such situations happen, even our response to emergency situation is a problem. You see, the Lagos state government is like, uh, when you look at all the various states in Nigeria and look at the very nature of operation and how a state should operate, the Lagos state government is, or the Lagos state as a state is miles ahead from all of these other states. So I've said this several that some of these states are no better than business centers. And all they should just do is go to the state a house and give them photocopying machine that they should just be photocopying maybe jump or why pass questions because in the very operation of government these states you know having people who preside over the administrative affairs with no capacity have run the states aground okay. now when we talk of emergency response we're looking at how you respond to any emergency situation whether it is you know suicide or attempted suicide whether it is you know fire outbreak whether it is flooding, whether it is, you know, electricity, whatever the situation is. And if Lagos State is the leading example, and what we have is something we need to manage, it's a problem. And let's talk about the trucks that are permanently parked on our roads, all the way from Olodia Papa Wharf area, um, the bridges in Akwangbo, um, Ogi Korodu Road. I wasn't even going to mention it's, about it's a that sight as for well. Sore eyes. Because if we check the traffic laws of Lagos State, there's a provision as to what time these trucks and these tankers are allowed to ply the road. So the question is, why are they even on our roads? They should be restricted to a certain time of the night. We shouldn't see them in certain areas. It's most unfortunate when we say we have laws in place. But it's not just about having laws. There's also, you know, implementing the laws. That's the reason why you have the organs of government those who make laws, those who implement or carry out the law, and those who interpret the law. If we have laws and we just act like we cannot, you know, take decisive action, and we put people in harm's way or in danger, then it's a major problem. And that is why Nigerians must begin to ask questions. And asking questions is not just waiting every four years to participate in general elections. It's by holding people in government accountable, taking them to task, speaking through to those in power and, and, and position. Because in truth, these people are well protected. And you that they are supposed to work for, if we go by the concept of social contract or leadership by servitude, you are in harm's way. You are just like a piece of meat that they set, uh, you know, they put strategically on a trap for a rat. And when you get caught up in it, it's a problem. So we must begin to tell those in government to act in the best interest of Nigerians. How do, how do you get trapped in a commercial vehicle or in a private vehicle because a truck carrying plywood, you know, you don't understand how it happened from the Ojuelegba bridge. It's pathetic. It's really, really scary. Very See, it's very scary and it's also tragic. I've been quite speechless because it's weird to it's weird to actually think about the fact that this is something that we've spoken up on so much. I know Chukudi, even on radio, we've covered this topic to such a great extent. And you would hope that sometimes you can use the media to actually enact a change for the people that you care about, being the people in your community, and to know that nothing is nothing is changing, nothing is being done. It's tragic. I don't have details on how soon the emergency services you know, appeared on the scene. But one of the things that really concerns me, like you mentioned, is our response when it comes to emergency services. Remember the other day you talked about being on the boat and, you know, your fuel got finished and you were stranded on the sea for about 30 minutes. I actually was on a boat ride once and I kept thinking to myself, if anything happens to me like this, it's either God calls me or 
He just finds a way to miraculously save me because you know that help isn't coming for you. So it's unfortunate and it's hard to think that we don't really have stronger laws and stronger systems when it comes to our emergency response team. And we need to, that's one area we need to work on to guarantee the safety and the security of the average Nigeria, not just the big fish. To enjoy more of this, our Ubunke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.